Hello everyone, and welcome back to another year with Typing Club. In this video, I'm going to first show you how to clean up the existing information in your account, and then we'll go over how to add new data in the second part of the video. We'll start off by looking at the classes. Here I can see a list of my active classes. Students enrolled in these classes can still log in and work on their assignments. Since these classes are from last year, let's take a look at what we can do to clean them up. Option one would be to delete the classes. Please note that deleting classes is a permanent action and we are not able to restore deleted classes. To delete classes, select the classes you would like to delete or select all and click delete. Student progress is tied to the student and to the lesson plan. When you delete a class from your Typing Club account, it just deletes the class, but the students in the class will still remain in the account. Since student progress is tied to the student and to the lesson plan and not to the class, when you add that student to a new class and assign the same lesson plan, their progress will remain. Another option is to archive the classes. This is a good option if you may need to restore the classes at a later date. Archived classes will disappear from your main class and students cannot work on assignments in archived classes. To archive classes, select the classes, click more options, and then archive. On your main screen, by default, you can only see the active classes. To view your archived classes, click on Filters and then Status, and you can either click Show All to show both your current and archived classes, or just click Archived. Now I can see all of my classes, both archived and current. I'm going to go ahead and restore these classes. and now they are back on my home screen. A third option for your classes is to keep the classes but update the information. This is a good option if you have customized a lot of settings that you want to preserve. So for example, if you've set the scoreboard visibility or locking the keyboard or the virtual hands or any of these settings that you want to keep, you could simply go to edit class change the name of the class, change the grade, and then you can also disenroll the students from the class. To do that for an individual class, you would click on students and then select all of the students or select individual students and then click disenroll. Disenrolling the students will remove the students from the class, but it will not remove the students from your Typing Club account. You can also update any instructors for the class by assigning instructors or unassigning instructors. You also have the option to clear the roster for all of your classes in bulk. To do that, you can click on Classes, select the classes, click More Options, and then click Clear Roster. So this will remove the students from all of the selected classes but again, it will not remove the students from your Typing Club account. Now that we've cleaned up the classes, let's go ahead and move on to students. You can use the headers to search by name or to search by last activity date. You can also use the filters to search by a certain school, class, grade, or instructor. So here I'm going to look at all of my students in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. So let's assume that all of my kindergarten, first grade, and second graders will no longer be taking typing this year. I've selected the filter to only see kindergarten, first, and second grade. I can then select all of the students and then click delete if I want to delete those students. Now, just like classes, deleting students is an irreversible action and we are not able to restore any deleted students. 
Another option, if you don't want to delete your students completely, you can select the students and then click more actions and then click archive. So just like with classes, students who have been archived will not be able to log in to the Typing Club account, but you could still go in and restore them. So maybe they won't be typing next year, but perhaps they'll be typing again in the future. Or if you ever wanted to review their stats or their work, then archiving is a great option. Once you've deleted all of the students that will no longer be typing this year or archived them, you can go ahead and clear the filter, view all of your remaining students, and then you can select all, click more options, and move them up one grade. So this will move each student up one grade level. If you have any students with an unassigned grade level, their grade will still stay unassigned. Now that we've cleaned up the students, if you have multiple schools on your account, it's a good idea to just review the school list, make sure all of the information is correct. Same is true for instructors. You can remove any instructors, add any additional instructors, or change any instructor permissions. So to add any instructors individually, you can just click Add Instructor, fill out the information and their roles and permissions. And then if you have any instructors that you need to change their permissions, you can click on the instructor, click edit instructor, and then update any of the roles or permissions. Next, we'll take a look at lesson plans. The lesson plans will be broken up into two categories, my lesson plans, which are the lesson plans that I have created, and then the Ed Club message lesson plans, so that the lesson plans that are managed by us here at Typing Club. And then also take a look at your lesson plan settings. Here you can view the default lesson plan set for each grade. Now that we've finished up cleaning all of our existing data, we can move on to adding any new data. I would recommend starting at classes, you can add new classes individually by clicking on Add Class. If you use Google Classroom or Clever Classroom, you can click on these two buttons to roster your classes that way. For larger accounts or district accounts, we also offer the Data Import tool, which I'll talk about in more detail a little bit later. Now we can move on to Students. If you click on add students, you can either add one student individually if you just have a few students to add, or you can click import update students and then click the import update tool. And here you'll be able to upload a CSV file with any new students or any students that you want to update their information. So on this first screen, you can download a sample CSV file or check out the documentation on how to prepare your data. I've chosen my CSV file that I want to upload. Click Next. Here you can review all of the data. So if you need to adjust any of these headers to match what's on your CSV file, you can do so here. You can also scroll down and click Skip to skip a column if you wish. You can also choose a school that you want to assign them to and then click finalize import. So it looks like one of mine was successful, one of them wasn't just because the student already exists so it didn't want to create a duplicate and then you have the option to enroll the students in a class right now as well. Now if you have a large account or district account, you're managing this on a district level, I would recommend using the data import tool and you can find that under tools and then data import tool, view tool. Um, I would recommend first taking a look at this PDF document. Um, it'll give you really detailed information on this feature. And then it'll also give you sample templates for all of the files that you can upload. It's very important that you first upload your schools and then instructors and then classes and then students. It's very important that you follow that order because you want your instructors to be assigned to the correct schools, your classes to have the correct instructors and your students to be in the correct classes. So those are our quick tips and tricks for preparing your account for the next school year. If you have any questions, feel free to check out our Typing Club Help Center. 
There's important information on class management, student ma management, frequently asked questions. And then of course, if you have any further questions, you can contact our Typing Club Help Center by creating a ticket. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you have a great new school year.